So the Poisson distribution is a little different. In this case, the Poisson distribution models the number of occurrences of some phenomena in a fixed interval or fixed time or fixed area or fixed volume. So usually we refer to this as volume as a generic word, which can be not necessarily just volume, it could be a length of uh, period of time, it could be an area of land or any such entity. So it's a counting process, the same as binomial, and some examples are the number of telephone calls per hour in a business, the number of queues, cars queued at a traffic light in one minute. So here the volume is an hour, and here the volume is one minute. The number of arrivals at a toll bridge per minute, the so volume here is one minute. Number of times a printer breaks down in a month, so my volume is a month. The number of paint spots on a new car, so my here my my volume is a car, one new car, and the number of sewing floors in a pair of jeans during production. So this here my pair of jeans is my volume in this case. The assumptions here are going to be that the occurrences are independent of each other. You can't have two occurrences at the same location and the mean number of occurrences in a specified volume is fixed, so the mean number is fixed here. So the second one here, same location, means essentially if you're looking at, for example, flows um, in uh, stitching errors in a gene, you can't have two stitching errors at, at the same time, at the same point. If you're looking at the number of uh, occurrences of a phenomena in said time, you can't have two occurrences at the same point in time. So with binomial and Poisson, they look similar but they're different. Binomial has a fixed number of trials, Poisson doesn't. Binomial has two parameters, number of trials and probability of success, Poisson doesn't. All Poisson has the, is the mean number of occurrences in the volume. Binomial has two outcomes, success or failure, Poisson doesn't. Binomial takes values 0 to n, Poisson takes values 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity, as long as you can go. Property mass function probabilities for, for Poisson distribution are given by the formula here. Probability you get k, k occurrences is this formula, where k takes values 0, 1, and, and so on. The cumulative distribution is probably of less than or equal to k, and this is simply, simply again as before, adding up probabilities from 0 up till k. Now the question is, would all these probabilities actually will add to 1 here? And that's an exercise for those who are more mathematically minded. We'll see this later in, in the workshops. Examples here, real estate agency sells 1.5 houses per day on average, so here my average is this, and my per day is my volume. Assume the sales are Poisson distributed, probability of selling exactly two houses in a day. So then my random variable x is the number of houses sold in a day, then x is Poisson, we use this notation here, P-O-R-S, and the mean is what we specify here. This is the mean number of sales in the given volume. So probability of x equals 2 here is given by the formula for probability mass function. It's e to the negative 1.5, the mean, is the number of occurrences 1.5 to the squared, the mean squared, over 2 factorial. So it, we're looking at x equals 2 here. So you can see the 2 occurs over here and over here. And this is the mean, and this is here also is the mean here. That calculation comes to 0 0.2510. Now, for the Poisson distribution, the, uh, if I want a single probability, it's going to be d poir, and here I wanted two successes and two x occurrences, and the probability of occurrences was 1.5, so that gives me 0 0.2510 as before. x equals 0, similarly. I can use R or the formula. This works out to be 0.2231. Now here is probability of selling at least five houses on a day. At least five houses means probability of x being less than equal to sorry x being bigger, bigger than equal to five. At least five. So that's one minus probability of x less than equal to four. And certainly we're not going to use our calculator for this. So I go to R again, and here, if it's less than or equal to, is the probability, then I, on the P here, that gives me cumulative probabilities, and this is 4, and that gives me 
and that comes to 0 0.0186 <coughs> and probability of selling more than 5 houses so this is probability now of x being bigger than 5 so that will be 1 minus probability of x being less than equal to 5 and so in my R all I do is change this number now to a 5 and I get 0.9955 and that's 0 0.0045 now probability of selling exactly 5 houses in 2 days so now my volume has changed from 1 to 2 days so if I let now random variable y be the number of houses sold in 2 days then y is still far so on but because my volume has doubled my mean also doubles to 3 so I scale the mean by the amount I scale the volume by I go from 1 day to 2 days so my mean scales from 1.5 to 1.5 times 2 now exactly 5 houses here so nothing different from before exactly 5 houses I just go to R again exactly 5 houses so I want the, the D poire and it's my mean has changed now to 3 and I'm wanting exactly 5 houses so it's 5 here and it's 0 0.1755 five. mean and variance the mean of Poisson is equal to this is the mean as we said earlier is equal to lambda the variance is also lambda so the mean and variance for the Poisson are the same and of course the square root of the variance gives me the standard deviation now so the Poisson is one of those distributions which has the same mean and same variance and one of the ways of checking if some data follows a Poisson distribution is to find the mean and variance and see if they're the same Thank you, that's all we have. We'll catch you in lectures later on. Bye. <clears throat>